automated. I've been getting to it, I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chicks, you don't know that I can face it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debating. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. I'ma need something, I can calm down front. I'm gonna pull it with the bar down one. Six months in, I ain't get it down once. Try and tell me what you know about me. You don't know nothing, keep it real with me. She says she ain't trying to deal with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that C. I'm just hoping she don't feel real, real, real. Cause what she do, I don't know what I'ma do. All that that I heard it, y'all was talking, it was comical. Pull up in your city for the evening, what you trying to do? Uh, Cause I'm open to it. I know that you miss him, but you gon' get through it. I can help with it if you need that. Uh, go and bring the beat back. I don't really listen to the feedback, nah. Told me that she good, she don't need Jack, nah. I'm real proud of the steps you took just to get to the place that you at today. I couldn't tell you to you straight, I gotta estimate. I wonder if I ought to go here with the best to say. Now go ahead, get me out of here, I couldn't last a day. I got the city talking about me like I passed away. Automatic is a habit, you should know it's automated. I've been getting to it, I ain't noticed y'all was hate. Brand new chicks, she don't know that I can face it. I just wanna know that I can hold a conversation. Oof, I don't know what y'all debate. I've been waiting for you, now I'm running out of patience. Running up a check, trying to run an operation. Went broke in the check and put a hundred out of savings in. I can tell now that you ain't talking about nothing. December day in the Volunteer State. The chilly rain from last night has moved on. The temps have bumped up a bit here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Indianapolis Colts and the Tennessee Titans. What is the fair catch? A signal for and take it. Just a three-yard gain there. 
He was brought yeah, down I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Now it's Hines. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. This is Hines. That one goes for eight yards. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. He'll get eight on the keeper there. It'll be second and a couple. A little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. On second down, it's Hines. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. To Paris One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Take a first quarter lead. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. Makes the score Colts 7, Titans nothing. Rigoberto. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Now Rosen on first down. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. They'll start on the ground with Hines. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. He's Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
Here's second and eight. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. the shotgun he'll look to throw got an open man that's Campbell and he'll be touched down here but not before he does pick up the first and eight yards he had the touchdown on the opening drive now he's got a first down line of scrimmage the 37 on first and 10 Now back to throw. Looking for Campbell downfield. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Dumps this off over the middle. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big. But in the end, give some credit to the defense. Finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Harris Campbell, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Colts add on to their lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Now a throw here to his running back. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out. And by a few inches, that'll be a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Throwing now, Rosen on first down. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Josh Rosen. And his throw is incomplete. 
Jonu Smith, the tight end, is intended receiver. But now it's third down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They want to go to the air again with Rosen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the Colts' 48-yard line. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14. Titans, nothing. This a quick pass to Davis. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. A gain of nine brings up third and three. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. From the gun, it's Rosen. He'll air this one out deep. And this is caught. Touchdown, Titans. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the play. Do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. This game back with it a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brings up second and four at the 31-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They run with Hines. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays. But I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. So he is able to turn that into positive yardage, but I think it's fair to say that those are not the shots you're wanting your quarterback to have to absorb. And he has to know sometimes when to say when. You have to know when to give yourself up, and let's face it, not easy for these guys to do because they're competitors as well. But sometimes you do learn your lesson the hard way, as he did there. Here's a second and seven. Looking for Campbell downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. 
There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. The Colts on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seventh. throw here out of the gun and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled he's got the first down he's got a big game going right now already over 100 yards receiving in this first half alone first down two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten here's Hines and he's up over midfield and down into Tennessee territory. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. It's a gain of two yards, and it's third down. The Colts on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and six. throw for the backup Jackson and he's going to have another first down as the tackles made at the Titans 27 yard line great way to convert on third down there 21 yards the play throw eluding the pressure right got an open man it's foster and he'll get into the end zone touchdown indianapolis robert foster robert foster his second touchdown on the season and the colts they add on to their advantage mar on for the extra point It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. Makes the score, Colts 21, Titans 7. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. The Titans take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense atomic. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Second and seven. A minute 55 left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. You're stuck with me in this booth, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. Rosen on first and ten. Uncorks one for Davis. And this will be incomplete. 
physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion, but this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Running from the gun with Henry. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. So a third and nine, and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. He gets it to Brown, good play. Now he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Great way to convert on third down there, 21 yards the play. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Rosen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That catch good for only a couple. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Eight yards to go on second down. They go play action. It's Rosen. Smith catches left side. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Again, it's Rosen. This is caught. Touchdown, Titans. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. And he knocks it through. Makes the score. Colts 21, Titans 14. This game back with it, a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Fair catch made at the 25-yard line. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Dane Crookshake. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. At their own 49-yard line. starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 just shy of midfield at the 49 they'll start on the ground it's Derrick Henry and he's going to be out of bounds but not before he takes it inside the 40 right off the bat it's a first down to start the drive 12 yards they had things a little spread out there with four wide receivers and it opened up a running hole yeah not only do you get better running lanes because you are spread out Oftentimes, when defenses see four wide receivers, they substitute in extra defensive backs, so you're blocking smaller personnel. That gives your running back a nice chance. And that is caught by Davis for a Tennessee touchdown. 
If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Hopkins with the extra point, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. The teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. Indianapolis. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Taken in by the tight end, Doyle. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flush to his right. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Here now, Brett Maher. He hit from 62 in his rookie season of 2018. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. It'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Off the play fake, here's Rosen. Buying time to his left. He'll run it. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. That's something we have not seen him do to this point, and that's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right, his first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the 34-yard line. On second and 12, Rosen. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. 
incomplete to Derek. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Rosen looking at a third and two. He'll air this one out deep. This is caught inside the 15. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A big play there. His 21st touchdown of the season. And the Titans have taken the lead. And that third counter there gives them the lead. And it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. Extra point good by Hopkins. And they will take a seven-point lead. 21. How does the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away? And this will make it into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Isaiah Rogers on the return. The Colts take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. That's the reason we ball for the circle round twice for the encore. If you know, you know. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. They stay on the ground again. It's Hines. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Muscle damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now this one to his running back out of the backfield. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And it's third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, and they'll be aided by a loss of yardage on the return. And it'll be Titan football. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were competent enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. 26-yard line. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. Check, 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 check. Bang, 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 bang. Ah! A shotgun hand off to Henry. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Derek Henry. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Again, it's Henry. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll take it to the 43-yard line. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. pick up there and it'll bring up a second and nine yeah things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space i think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run Second and nine from the 44. Hey, here we go. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike, 58, right there. Right here. Fun, fun, fun. Check that, check, check that. They'll throw it with Rosen. And boy, that one drops incomplete. But if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Intended for A.J. Brown. Incomplete. It's now third down and nine yards to go. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He's crazy. He's checking crap. To throw is Rosen. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Josh Rosen sacked. And eight. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. At their own 22-yard line. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Well, the defense got its job done, forcing the punt. Now the formula, pretty simple. They need to find the end zone here. A field goal doesn't help them much. The Titans gonna use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 21-yard line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From 
the shotgun. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The escapability in evidence there is that one. Good for 15 and a first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Six yards left on second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. The ball Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Colts on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They run again with Hines. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A gain of three on the play. First, they'll look to throw now on first down. They'll find Hines out of the backfield. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A very solid gain of 27. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. He is going to get this close to the first down markers. He's brought down at the Titan 16. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Third down. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. And he'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. A pickup of two yards. First down, Colts. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground. Hines. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway because that's your strength. Oh, no, he lost the football. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On play action, they'll throw. 
And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, it'll be Titan football on a turnover on downs. On downs. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Rosen to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown. And they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. 13 at the 13-yard line. Got to figure the rush is going to be fierce again as they come up second and 13. going to throw it and he'll be taken down but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29 16 yards a first down tell you what he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long that throw no different yeah a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw i think he looks at it as i can do it so it's not that big of a deal to me and i'm gonna keep firing Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Here's Rosen. Rolling to his right. And right side, Henry's got it. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. First down. First and 10 at the 44-yard line. back at the 43-yard line. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game Rosen. Man open left 
side is Brown. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So now with six seconds remaining, we get a timeout on the field. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is indeed good. And that will push the lead up to double digits now at 10. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. First and 10 at their own 33-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. 31. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they could look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence to give up that many points. Even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for Tennessee, the streak continues as they push their mark to a perfect 12-0 now on the year. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, this loss cost them in the playoff chase as they fall back.